हाई फ्रेंड्स अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू टू यू ऑल सो मैनी टाइम्स वाइल वर्किंग विद एस एस आई एस पैकेज वैन वी आर ट्राइंग टू लोड अ फाइल एज एज ए टी एल प्रोसेस इन टू आर सर्वर वी गेट द रिक्वायरमेंट वेर वी नीड्स टू पोल अ डायरेक्ट्री वेर देर इज अ पाथ गिवन एंड 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 सम डम्स आर अ फाइल विच नीड्स टू बी लोडेड इन टू द सिस्टम सो इन टू आर सीक्वल सर्वर डेटा बेस सो Uh, using SSIS in in this scenario we need to poll when we do not have any time specified or we have to poll based upon the number of times uh, and then exit so in this uh, demo video or, or a blog what i am trying to show you is to is to learn polling uh, based upon two scenarios i am going to cover polling by time period and by polling the number of times now let's see what we have in this blog so what i have here is Uh, this is the polling directory where our SSIS package will keep polling to see if the file has arrived. Uh, now the the file in question is the EMP dot txt, which is something like this. It has the employee information, and and this would need to be loaded into our SQL Server uh, tables. So we are keeping this uh, outside the poll directory. We'll try to push this in the poll directory and see how it picks up. So basically, this file. needs to be dumped in this directory from where it is going to be picked up and then processed now coming back to the ssis what we have here i have created uh, four scenarios now the first one is poll by time period using sql server uh, or, or sql task so if what we have we have some variables here which is a uh, poll end time which is uh, when the ssis package schedule when you schedule ssis package with a sql job it starts running and it will keep polling this directory every uh, 30 seconds uh, to see if the file has arrived until this time period which we specify in uh, in this ssis package now what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, clean up our poll demo table and then check with the sql server uh, if the file has arrived and if it is not arrived it is going to uh, it, until a time period it's going to uh, flash a, a message or, or, or a message box or it is going to if the file is gets arrived it, it is going to set this flag is file arrived so based upon if you see here we have it it will set it as not equal to 1 uh, it will be basically it will be 0 in in the scenario when the file doesn't arrived uh, arrive at a, at a at a particular time in other scenario it will be flagged as one wherein it will try to process this file uh, from the path that is our poll directory emp.txt path to uh, into our sql server destination that is the poll demo table uh, okay so that's the scenario so let me enable this we try to enable this and then we put our time as ten and then what's the time it's it's nineteen we say fifty three right so if you keep polling So let's run this. So as you can see, it is it is pulled and uh, and pulled the directory and and since we have not provided the file, it's it's saying file not arrived at the end time. So uh, now, if we try to uh, push the file before the end time, so okay, what what is there in the SQL task? If you see, this is uh, the SQL task which keeps uh, which keeps checking. So it's just uh, this code. Uh, which checking till the end time of the end poll so uh, it is going to check uh, if the file uh, and set the flag for this directory so we are using xp uh, extended procedures underscore file exist uh, 
and we are going to check in the directory if, if the file has arrived or not and based upon that set the set the flag and every time it's going to wait for 30 seconds and and, and uh, repoll so it is going to wait for 30 seconds and then again repoll and check so it will keep polling the directory every 30 seconds to check if the file has arrived at, at, at this path or not uh, until the end time has, has, has crossed so uh, and if you check at the parameters what we have is we take input parameter as as uh, the poll end time which is the variable which specifies the end time and, and then we have an output pa output parameter which is the flag uh, which is which is setting it as, as is file arrived uh, now now let's try to set this value to say 55 and we say 20 and or rather let's say 56 and let's run this container in the meantime what we would do is it will keep polling so what we do is we copy this value file sorry and then just paste it here so that the next time that it polls it should be able to find the file and load it accordingly As you can see, the file has been loaded into our SQL Server destination. So let's just try to uh, check this into our SQL Server and, and see if the data got loaded into the uh, into the table. That is, Right, so data of all the records was loaded into our table. So now moving on, I'm just trying to disable this. Uh, and the second demo that we have is again using the SQL task to check if the file arrived, but it pulls using upon the uh, using with the full uh, uh, for loop container. It's going to pull three times. So what we have here is is not a time period that is it is going to check, but it is going to check based upon number of times so we say that okay starting when the job runs if you schedule this job at, at 10 p.m. EST or, or 10 p.m. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to check every 30 seconds for three times uh, so that is something which we have uh, configured if you can see this is uh, is going to check for 30 this is the initial value for the variable where I and this is the evaluation expression so it is and this is the increment value so this is how we uh, set up a very simple for loop for you and that's all that we have done so in the variables if you see where i is is the one which is which was initialized and which is going to be used in the for loop now again it's going this is the cleanup task which is simply truncating the table the second one is a, a simple uh, sql task which is which is simply checking if the file has arrived and it's uh, and the value is it's going to be set for the variable so if we check the parameters what we see is there is a simple output for file arrived so in case the file is uh, it's arrived it returns a value of 1 so and, and sets the same to the variable now going back the same is the conditions as we seen in the last time around so basically a uh, not 1 uh, goes for file not arrived and the second one is 1 so the only thing is we have also used a SQL task here for waiting for 30 seconds again 
each for each of the three times which it's going to be it's going to wait for every 30 seconds so uh, what we do now is let's bring this out right so what we do now here is uh, we simply try to decrease the uh, for the demo purpose let me just try to decrease this to 10 seconds and then run this without the file remember there is no end time it is just going to pull the number of times so it says file not arrived and it waits for thir 10 seconds again and it says so again so it, it waits for 10 seconds and based upon that it says file not arrived right so in the next scenario what what we are going to do is we are going to place the file and then just check right so in the next scenario what we do is let's run this over again and we'll place the file right so the next time when it goes to check it sees that the file has arrived and it rightly again uh, loads the data so that's we uh, that's what we have done in the next uh, uh, scenario where we have actually uh, used the number of times that we poll so let's disable this again the next two bits that i have added is actually instead of sql task what i have done is I have simply used a, a script task so it's again uh, the same scenario but with a, a, a different approach so I just wanted to add that on so if you see here we are going to truncate this table and, and use a script task so in the script task I have the file arrive flag and then the, the directory path and then the end time so end time that we had actually been checking so it will it'll poll by time period uh, and based upon that it will set the path and it will check for the file in this directory so that's all uh, here in the script task and, and the rest of the things remains the same just that the whole implementation has been done uh, on the script task so we check for the file from this uh, uh, path or the directory and then we check for the end time and if the current time is less than the end time we basically set the uh, and the file exists we set this value or the flag value to 1 so that's the simple code that has been uh, put together and it keeps checking till the uh, end time has you know been covered so that's the whole point and, and at the end it tries to load the file so basically it's it's the same uh, I'll not be executing this it remains since the approach remains the same I just want to walk you through uh, so again here if you see it's just truncating the table and it's going to uh, use the script task where, the, it, where it will use the directory and set the flag so it will check the files check for the files three times so again if you see here we are just using uh, three times and, and then delaying it we are delaying this by 30 seconds and then again rechecking for the file so if you see the code it's uh, again the simple uh, uh, demonstration or, or the simple implementation of the same thing as we had done in the SQL task so uh, and then processing so polling at times is really important when we are not sure uh, uh, starting when we are going to get the file from another system or, or the other system is going to dump the file and we uh, uh, the first scenario the second point is we want to process the file as soon as it comes to us we do not want to wait for it for an hour or two hour or two just that we want the interval of the load to be very small or minimum so that's when we try to pull by number of times or, or the or, or the end or the end period so that's where this scenario comes into picture i really hope that that this is uh, helpful to you all thank you so much